video, I am going to teach you how to subtract decimal numbers or decimals. So, the rules in subtracting decimals is the same as the rules in adding decimals. So, the first one is the given should be written in vertical form. And then, we should align the numbers with the same place value or position. And then, if a number is no opposite, assign zero. And then, proceed in subtracting as if you are subtracting whole numbers. So, we should uh, subtract decimals up until 10 thousands, and then we should subtract mixed decimals. So, let's solve some examples. So let's say we will be finding the difference of 0 0.7986 and 0 0.3215. So as you can see, the given is written in horizontal form. So we should rewrite the given in vertical form for us to be able to find the difference. So 0. And minus. So I literally applied the first two rules, which is uh, to write the given in vertical form and make sure that the position of uh, the numbers are, are aligned. I mean, the numbers with the same place value are aligned. So, ayan, in a play ko na siya pareho. I wrote the given in vertical form and then I made sure that uh, the numbers with the same place value are aligned. Okay? So, ayan, tapat tapat sila. And then, right after that, uh, we cannot apply yung pangatlong rule kasi lahat naman dito ay may opposite or may katapat. So, therefore, we should proceed in subtracting. So, 6 minus 5, that is 1. 8 minus 1, that is 7. 9 minus 2, that is 7. 7 minus 3, that is 4. And then copy the decimal point and then 0. So therefore, the difference of even number 1 is 0 0.4771. How about the next example? So let's say we have 0 0.98. Minus 0 0.4787. So again, the given is written in horizontal form. So I should rewrite that in vertical form. And I should make sure, or we should make sure, that the numbers with the same place value or position are aligned. Okay, so 0 0.98 minus 0 0.4787. So this and given number 2, as you can see, we can apply the third rule, which is if a number is no opposite, we should assign 0. So dito, di ba, wala namang katapat si 8 and 7. So according to rule, if that's the case, then we should assign 0. So we should write 0 here. Ayan, para lahat sila may katapat for us to be able to solve this easily. Okay? So right after we assign zeros, then we should proceed in subtracting them. So this part, so 0 minus 7, so as you all know, in subtraction, we have borrowing. So manghihiram tayo. So wala naman, di naman natin ito pwedeng i-minus, di ba? 0 minus 7, that is a negative number. So we can do that, therefore manghihiram tayo dun sa katabing digit or number. So 0, manghihiram sa 0, si 0 manghihiram sa 8. Okay, so 0 will become 10, the next 0 will become 9, kasi nahiraman na natin siya ng isa, di ba? 8 will become 7. Okay, now okay na tayo, so we should proceed in subtracting. So 10 minus 7 is 3, 9 minus 8 is 1. 1, uh, 7 minus 7 is 0, 9 minus 4 is 5, copy the decimal point, and then 0. 
So therefore, the difference of example number 2 is 0 0.5013. So, yeah. And then, the next given naman, how about if the given is a mixed decimal? So, kapag a mixed decimal yung given, so, sa left side ng decimal point, meron ng number or meron ng value. So, para lang siya uh, mixed number sa fraction. Meron whole number na given doon. Sa fraction, dito naman, mixed decimal yung tawag. Meron ng... Uh, whole numbers na kasama. So, let's say, for example, we will find the difference of 5.5822 uh, minus 4.569. So, as you can see, on the left side of the decimal point, meron ng value, meron ng number, hindi, hindi na zero. So, this is why this, these are called mixed decimals. No? Kapag may whole number na dito sa left side, ng decimal point. Kasi sa right side ng decimal point, yan yung mga decimal numbers. Okay, sa left side, yung mga whole numbers. So, kapag hindi na zero yung nandun, may number na or may value na, therefore, they are called or the given is called a mixed decimal. So, here, again, I'm going to write this given in vertical form and I am going to make sure that the numbers with the same position are aligned. Okay, minus 4.569 over. So, yeah. So, as you can see, here, tapat-tapat na yung mga numbers na may same ng positions. So, si 2, wala siyang katapat. So, therefore, we should apply yung mga tlong rule, which is to assign 0. Ayan, may katapat na siya lahat. So, therefore, we can now proceed in subtracting them. So, 2 minus 0, that is 2. 2 minus 9, so we need to borrow again. So, hiram tayo sa 8 ng isa. This will become 7. 2 will become 12. Okay, so 12 minus 9, that is uh, 3. Okay, 7 minus 6, that is 1. 5 minus 5, that is 0. Point, and then 5 minus 1, 4. 1 to like 4 is 1. Okay? So therefore, this will be your difference. So 1.132. So let's have another example. Let's say we will be uh, subtracting or finding the difference of 16.3 minus uh, 5.3. 6,149. So again, I am going to write the given in vertical form and I am going to make sure that the numbers with the same position are aligned or is aligned. So 16.3 minus 5.6149. And then there are some numbers that have that has no opposite, so we should assign zero. Yeah. And then here. And then as you can see, we should now proceed in subtracting them. So here, zero minus nine, we should borrow, 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 up until here. Okay? So zero, magiging na siyang ten, this will become nine, kasi nag-borrow na tayo ng isa, this will also na this will also become 9. 3 will be 12. Okay, 6 will be 5. So now, we should subtract. So 10 minus 9, this is 1. Okay? 9 minus 4, this is 5. And then 9 minus 1, this is 8. 12 minus 6, that is 6. So copy the decimal point. And then, 5 minus 5, that is 0. And then, um, 1 minus 0, that is um, 1. <laughs> 1 minus 0 and 1 is 1. So, therefore, the difference that we computed is 10 
point six thousand eight hundred and fifty one. How about last exam? So let's say we have um uh three point sixty seven minus uh, zero point four thousand six hundred twenty five. We're going to find the difference of this given. Okay, so again, we need to write the given in vertical form and we should make sure na the numbers that have the same position are aligned. Okay, so 3.67 minus 0 0.4625. Oh, so here, merong mga numbers na walang opposite, so we should assign 0. And then we should proceed in subtraction. So, hiram tayo let kasi we cannot subtract 5 from 0. Yeah. 0 will become 10. The other 0 will become 9. 7 will become 6. So, 10 minus 5, this is 5. And then 9 minus 2, this is 7. 6 minus 6, this is 0. 6 minus 4, that is 2. Copy the decimal point. 3 minus 0, this is 3. Therefore, the difference is 3.2075. So that is how you subtract decimal numbers or decimals.